Hey guys, it's Tanya Morgan here for Behind the Gloves in association with Fresco Box. I'm here with Glenn McCrory. How are you doing, Glenn? I'm doing very good, thanks. So, you sparred Mike Tyson in your time. I did, long, Just long time. Just to get time. that out there first. Yeah, get you long time. time ago, 1987, <laughs> 87 for the Terrell Biggs fight and then for the Larry Holmes fight. So, it was a very, it was um, a very great, great experience, but very, very tough experience. I bet. Talking of tough experiences, how did you um, rate tonight's fight? I thought it was an excellent fight. It was an excellent fight and I thought it was a much pr uh, improved performance from Dillian White, who showed patience, he showed a very, very good jab, he showed variety with his body punches and then mixing it to the head, a calm head. He never got in involved, he never, he never, right until the very end when, when he knew it was the right time, he just took his man apart, bit by bit. Um, and put on a, a great performance. And uh, did I think uh, uh, Dillian White had that in him? I'm not sure I did, but he's risen to the, to the next level and that's shown hard work and determination and a will to, to get amongst the, the best in the world. He proved a lot of people wrong tonight and showed a different side of him for sure. Who would you like to see him fight next? To be honest, I think, um, well, there's obviously two options. He's earned his chance you know, rightfully earned his chance at um, Deontay Wilder, the WBC champion. Um, but I think Andy Joshua's got some some pretty important work to do himself next week. So I think Andy Joshua just needs to to think about that for the time being. But I think uh, there's obviously a fight. There's obviously a, a return between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. A much improved Dillian White and uh, a much calmer. So it's great to see. It's great to see young fighters when they they develop and they improve and they go on to, to bigger things. Definitely. And do you have a prediction for next week's fight? Who do you think out of AJ and Parker? Do you know what? I think it is a very, very close and tough fight. And I think... Tougher just, than people think it's going to be? Oh, do you think people aren't really oh, thinking think it's going to be as tough? People are just, uh, you know, Andy Joshua's got this myth about him, you know, that, that he just has to go in the ring and people fall down. And, yeah. you know, he's shown against Carlos Tackham that that, that doesn't happen. And, and Anthony knows that, you know, he works, he works really, really hard and steps it up and, you know, he listens to criticism and, you know, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a wonderful fighter and a great guy and, but he knows, he knows that he's got a, tough performance. He knows he's got a, he, to pull out a tough performance. He knows Joseph Parker comes with the exact same qualities. He knows that you know he's going to push him every step of the way. You know He's undefeated as well. He holds a world title belt as well. He's got pride. He's got a big heart. He's a, you know, he's a Samoan. You know, he's, he's not going to give up. He's going to fight with pride of a, of a nation. And um, so I think, I think it's, it's very close. It's very hard. And he'll test him on every level. But I just think Anthony, Anthony size you know, his, his size and his power will, will probably tell towards the end. I mean, it could go the, the distance or it'll be a late stoppage for Joshua. We're definitely looking at some tough fights and some good fights. It's a brilliant time for boxing. Thanks so much for so talking powerful. to Behind the Gloves. Hey, Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so by clicking this icon right here or else.